Uh, hey guys, <laughs> it's Katie. Um, new new uh, position here, but I am actually going to do my first like full collection declutter. I one am usually very good at decluttering like throughout. I guess the year like if I'm doing my makeup I come across a product and I'm not liking it or it's not working well I straight up pass it on and declutter it right then I don't put it back in my collection to kind to kind of go through later um also I don't have a huge collection where I have you know 24 bronzers to in I'm going to get rid of half of them like I like to keep my collection in my opinion, manageable, which is for me like fun and have options and stuff, but not overwhelming. Um, I like to be a little bit more of a conscious consumer, even though this may be beyond conscious consuming for makeup. Um, so with that being said, especially for eye palettes, I am somebody who I just, it takes a really special palette to catch my attention and for me to bite the bullet and add it to my collection. Um, so I've been really good at not really purchasing eye palettes that I don't fully believe I will love and use. I think my most recent palette um, is the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde palette. It was on sale during, I think, even the Sephora sale. And... I have used it so much and I have loved it every single time I've used it. I think it creates just the most pretty looks that I've done this spring and summer. And that's how I want to feel about a palette. So the only eye shadows that I felt like I could go through and start to declutter are some of my singles. So my singles are a lot of them are depotted from other older palettes um like these right here are from an old urban decay vice 2 palette these are color pop even makeup geek depotted from i don't know these are depotted from the carly bible anastasia bob anastasia beverly hills um so i don't think there's a lot um, but there are a few. There are a few. Um, what is this? I know. Okay, this a purple pink one called Try Me from Color. Oh my gosh. This purple pink one called Try Me from ColourPop. It's just, I like blue toned purples. This one is more of a pink toned purple. I have the, um, wanderlust palette that has some of these purples in it too i just feel like yeah i mean basically same shade uh basically same shade right here from the wanderlust palette so i'm going to get rid of try me from ColourPop. Do you see, this is the Quantum Sleep from ColourPop. And this is the shade T from Juvia's Place. This has more of a purple in it. I'm looking at these transition shades down here. I think these are all from Makeup Geek back in the day. They're just basic transition shades that that was in a time when everybody had to have their separate transition shades, separate color for each part of your eye in like a MAC single shadow. Okay, so I really like the this highlight shade. I this is 
called Pearl from Makeup Geek. However, I think these two transitions are lackluster and they're going to go. They're called Swine and Flipside from Makeup Geek. So there's those. Um, okay, this green, I know I want to keep a green. Ooh, oh gosh. I don't have a color like that, and that's probably why I'm keeping that. <sighs> that's pretty, but... Probably gonna get rid of this little shade here from, I don't know where, I popped it out of probably a ColourPop palette. It's kinda like, I don't know, really falling apart and didn't really like how it, oops, uh, I don't know, it's in to me, so that one's gonna go, um, what about this orange shade, this I popped out of a ColourPop palette, I don't do a lot of oranges, so that's probably why that's in here, let me get out, I have this Violet Voss Flamingo palette, You know what, I have this orange shade in the Violet Voss Flamingo palette. And so I don't think I need this like deeper coppery orange. So that one's gonna go as well. Hmm, look what happens when you shop your little stash. Okay, so I got rid of what? One, two, three, four, five singles, which considering this is like all I have, I don't think that's bad, guys. Okay, we're gonna... I think... Uh, I think I, I want to keep all the rest of these. I know that. I picked them out specifically from palettes. So, we're going to uh, move on from the eyes. Except, I was looking at this Natasha Denona Mini Star Palette. And I just... I've never reached for it besides like swatching it. You know what? I think I'm just going to pass this on. It's a nice palette. Somebody will like it. It's obviously great formula. Um, I just am not going to keep it because I want to try out one shade. I That was a stupid buy. I just, yeah. So I guess we're going to pass on some more. Next, we're going to go through concealers. And I think this will be pretty quick and easy because I know exactly which ones I want to get rid of. I want to get rid of my Maybelline Fit Me's because they're too old. I just cannot get the formula to work for me anymore as well as the Maybelline Dark Circle Erasers. Same thing. Too old. Cannot get them to work under my eyes right now. Maybe they're a product I will try in the future but as far as the ones I have, they're going to be gone. And I know this Pixie Corrector can go. This is like that brightening uh, peach corrector. It's just too drying under my eyes. I have the Becca one that I like better. Um, NARS Soft Matte Radiant Concealers, or no, just soft matte complete conceal complete concealer are great for spot treatments um and then really the only under eye concealers i'm vibing with right now are my covergirl my l'oreal age perfect and then i haven't tried this one yet the neutrogena hydro boost that's supposed to be really hydrating in the center and the core and then i do keep a green concealer on hand i use it sparingly once in a while so keeping those and then I do have actually a few like foundation adjusters I need to keep making sure I'm in frame here I'm sorry and let's see I know you can always I know I want to keep the Catrice uh, Prime and Fine. This is the Transforming Drops, the Darkening. I have used these before. I tend to buy my foundations on the lighter side. So I've used these before to darken my foundations up and I, I like them. So that's definitely going to be my 
dark one, which means I don't know if I need this one by Ulta. It's the foundation adjusting drops. I mean, it's really, let's see. It's just a whole different consistency. So they are much different shades. This is the Ulta one. It's much more neutral and liquidy. And then the Catrice one is a lot deeper and darker. I don't know. I think I'll keep both of these for right now. As far as the lighter ones go... You know what, I don't think I need the stark white ones. I actually, I'm surprised. I thought I was gonna get rid of the Alta ones. I'm going to get rid of the LA Girl and just lighten things up with, I think this shade um, right here is light enough to lighten things up if I ever need it. So that's that category. Whoa, man, we're doing good so far. Now we have my foundation base products. They're like all turned over. Let's see. I have multiple colors of a few. Um, okay. The only one I know I'm going to for sure declutter, this will be easy, is the CYO Life Proof Foundation. It's a fine foundation, but this brand is no longer, and I really don't want to reach for this. So I'm going to take it out of my collection. As far as the others, I have the IT Cosmetics. Um, CC cream. I have it in two shades, fair and light. This is like my only full coverage foundation. The Misha BB cream, I have it in 21 and 23. Uh, L'Oreal Age Perfect. Actually, you know what? This one, and I have the CoverGirl and Olay Advanced, Ra Advanced Radiance. I think I am going to put this one in my project, in my project pan because I think it's my oldest foundation besides this one but this one I kind of keep for nostalgia purposes it's the L'Oreal True Match and every once in a while I go back and wear it and it's still good so uh yeah I think this is my newest one the Say Slip Tint I think I'm just going to put this in my project pan and keep the rest and uh yeah, we're going to call that good. Face I need to get better at is um, primers. And I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay, I'm trying. Um, I'm not going to get rid of any. I know that. I just need to ugh, work through. This Becca one is in my project pan right now. The Becca Backlight. So I am obviously going to keep that. I This Flower Beauty one I have been working through as well. It's just your basic hydrating one. Uh, Catrice is a hydrating one. This Peter Thomas Rolf Skin to Die For is my favorite smoothing primer. L'Oreal Lumi Lotion, one of my favorites. Just simple, easy, at the drugstore, affordable. Um, the Hello Fab Coconut Smoothie, a hydrating one. And then the Pore Professional by Benefit. This is the hydrating one just a little deluxe sample to work through i don't know about this hello fab pores be gone matte primer i'm just not a matte primer person but i feel like i don't have a single matte primer and if there is ever a time when i needed one it's not overly matte i mean there's still some smoothness to it so i think i'll keep that around but um i I do have the Becca Backlight one in my uh, project pan. So, okay, on to face products, and we're just going to do this the easy way. I have an idea already of the things I'm going to declutter here. I'm not going to go through every product, um, but starting with face palettes, I only have three. I have the Hourglass. Um, like edit ghost unlocked or whatever from a couple holiday seasons ago definitely a keeper i have clinique 
little cheek pop palette keeper and then I do have the Smashbox Cali Contour palette and I'm happy with all three of these. I do want to get more use out of this one so I might put this in the project pan right now and see if I can reach for that a little bit more. Um, when it comes to powders, okay. I recently went on a little bit of a powder binge and got the number seven and then the CoverGirl Advanced Radiance Powder. I don't need, I don't need them, but these are my powders. Um, the Makeup Forever, Cody Airspun, one of my absolute favorites is the Milani Prep Set in Glow. I think if you um, like the Hourglass powders, the finishing powders, you do not need those. This is wonderful. The Thrive Cosmetics Loose Powder is wonderful. So smooth. Um, the only one... Oh my gosh, this is just a mess. This is bonded. The only one I think I'm going to declutter right now is the Laura Mercier Glow Powder. I've just come to the realization that this is more like... Even though it's marketed as an all-over finishing powder, it just is more like an all-over, I don't know, highlight. Maybe from far away it looks okay, but I'm not okay with like putting this all over my face. I've only done it a couple times and it's time to move that bad boy on. So that's where I'm going to go with powders. However, I do have... Um, the IT Cosmetic Celebration Illumination Powder Foundation. This is my oldest powder and I need to be putting this in my project pan. Uh, I really like it, really enjoy it. I um, got this off of Jessica Braun's recommendation, but because I like it and I like how it looks on my face, I do want to use it before it becomes too dry and used up. So that's going to go in a project pan. <laughs> Okay, as far as bronzers, I recently did a bronzer ranking video, and I still, I need to do a blush one next. I don't think I've done it yet. Um, and I know from that ranking video which ones I want to get rid of. One would be the Sephora Los Cabos bronzer. This is just my oldest bronzer, and I have better ones, ones that I want to reach for more. It's a fine, I'm sorry, I have a bruise here. I had an IV in, but um, it's fine. It's a fine formula. I'm not knocking it. I just have others that I reach for more. And so I'm going to pass it on because it is a really nice bronzer for someone who could use one. Um, passing on my Milani Baked Bronzer in the shade 04 Glow. It's their old, I think they've reformulated. This one is just very orange, very, I don't know. I just have to have the right tan for it to work and I just it's 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 too orange okay I love the glowy factor but it's too orange maybe I'd pick up a newer version of one but I'm happy with what I have right now a point perk I got from Sephora was the bare minerals pressed bronzer in warmth and to be honest it's just a little not smooth enough for me it's pressed in there a little hard um goes on a little i don't know it just takes work blending it in and i'm not going to reach for it so i thought again it's even it's a little orange more orange than i like but again it might be something someone else would really like like a friend or my mom or cousin whatever so i'm going to pass those three bronzers on um but I do need to put one. I think I'm going to put this hourglass. Oh, that's not the bronzer. I think I'm going to put this hourglass bronzer in my project pan um, just to get some use out of it, see if I want to keep it because this was kind of the next one in my ranking that could possibly be on the chopping block. But I know people like love these. Um, 
Again, it might just be a little bit too yellowy or orangey. I have it in the shade Luminous Bronze Light, but it's not so deep that I don't think I could get it to work. So I wanna put it in a project pan slash shop my stash uh, basket and see uh, what I like after I get a uh, consistent use out of it. Um, blushes. I'm pretty good at keeping my blushes where I want them. The one that I am going to pass on is the Burt's Bees blush in the shade Bare Peach. I tried for a minute to be a peach blush girl. I'm not. I'm a pink. I'm a pinky coral. I'm sometimes like a baby pink, but I'm a mauve. I can do a little bit of a mauvey nude, but this, it's a really pretty color, really soft, smooth formula, but that's not me. It's just not me. As hard as I try for it to be, that's not me. So Okay, so the one that's really on my chopping block is the NYX Sweet Cheeks. I got this out of nobody's recommendation. I just saw it and saw it was a liquid blush and was intrigued by like the moussey type um, applicator. I just don't know. It's not as glowy as I want it to be. It's a beautiful baby pink. I've only used it on my face once though and it looks intense but it blends out. I'm a blush person. It's just I wish there was more of a glow to it considering it is, I mean, I guess it's not liquid because it's more of a moussey formula, but I am going to keep it around. I have to give it more than one shot, <laughs> obviously, but um, that one's on the chopping block, but the rest I know I'm going to keep. Ooh, highlights. Highlights? Uh. I'm very much into a, you know what, this needs to go in a project pan this uh, Benefit What's Up highlight. This is a deluxe size sample. This is actually one of my favorites. It is. It was the winner of the cream highlight game before the cream highlights came to the game. I absolutely love it. You can build it up to be absolutely like blindfully uh, stunning or blend it in and just give you, oh, look at that, look at that. I love it, love it, love it, love it. I would 100% uh, purchase the full size, but I do wanna, you know, start using things up a little bit. I also have this um, Benefit High Beam. This is one of my favorites as well, but I have two sizes of it. So I do have the smaller size in my project pan. Um, but I am gonna put this one in there as well because I, I that's one of the longest ones I've had. The one on my chopping block is actually the Champagne Pop Highlighter by Becca. I know Becca's going out of business. We all know that. Um, this is just, it's my only like super champagne-y highlighter. I go more towards, well, it's the deepest champagne highlighter I have. I definitely go towards champagne shades. Um sometimes a little bit pinkier shades so I do think I'll keep this around because it does look really good on bronzed summer skin um but it is on a chopping block um what else this RMS I'm very disappointed in this RMS highlight it was like I don't know maybe 30 some bucks and it's a cream highlight but it takes so much work to get it like emulsified and not so much but it's not as creamy as I like and it's more of just like a dewy balm versus a highlight I mean this happens every time though I put it on and I feel like it looks beautiful it gives you that like I don't know morning dew wet skin I'll keep it but I didn't expect to really declutter I'm not like highlight obsessed okay guys so the last step was kind of just going through my eyeliners and I did not declutter any eyeliners I just have a handful I have like one brown one black I have a couple liquids and I have a couple fun colors I did 
Well, not too long ago, go through my lip pencils, and today when I went through, the only one I picked out was this shade Brink by ColourPop. It's just a little too peach on my skin tone, so I'm going to pass that one on. But this is my lip collection, and this I go through every once in a while as well. I just kind of do it all, put it all on my lips, see what I like. I have it categorized by colors, and tonight I just kind of went through and swatched uh, off camera and didn't think I would get rid of many because I did do this not too long ago but I just kind of got a little more brutal and picked out what do I have here six seven maybe um, that I'm just going to show you that I'm going to part with. This is actually the Milani Keep It Full, which I love the gloss, but I have the shade Soft Rose, and I don't have very pigmented lips, and it just didn't do enough for me. I need a bit of a deeper pink shade, so that one's gone. This is the Stila Stay All Day shade in Patina, one of those super matte lip lipsticks. Um... And I just don't find that it wears well on me. So I'm not going to be reaching for that. I have a mini of the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Viva La Vergara. So I just don't reach for that one. I have a couple old NYX Butter Glosses here. The shade um, Peaches and Cream. Great formula. but And I actually have a couple butter glosses still. But this is just too pink for me. I don't think it looks good on my teeth. And kind of same token here this is the shade strawberry jam and it's just a little too orange on me and don't i don't think it looks too great on my teeth so passing those on this oh my gosh this is probably one of my oldest lipsticks it's from the like maybelline vivids collection years ago and i kept it around because it's such a unique hot plum color but it's it's wonky it's bad it's finally just gotta go uh this is the dose of colors lip gloss in the shade on repeat kind of the same thing as the milani one it just doesn't have enough color pigmentation for my lips and then the last one is this by l'oreal called julianne's red it is i sat here with swatches on my hand for probably three to five minutes trying to decide the difference between Julianne's Red and the Revlon Fire and Ice, which is one of their like classic in every lip formula shades and decided to go with Fire and Ice because that's that's the classic, that's the Revlon, but this, I just, I, <laughs> it was ridiculous. So I am passing this little red thing on as well and plus I had to like cut down on my reds. That's one of my weaknesses. But anyway, this is what I'm left with with my lip collection. Maybe a lot, but it is what it is. Okay, I'm gonna put this back and then move the camera and show you how I fit everything back in my little organizer thing and we'll be good to go. Okay guys, so this is just like my little makeup drawer set here. Maybe some of you think this is way too much to just hold makeup. Others are like, I could never fit my collection in there. It's fine. It's a piece of crap. I need something new. But anyway, um, this is my eye drawer. Like I said, I don't have a ton of eye palettes. This is what I have. And this is kind of my uh, little, like, I don't know. It's my rule that as many eyeshadow palettes as I have or eye products they've got to fit in this top drawer and that's that so like I said I only got rid of a little bit from my singles palette but that's okay I like what I have in this next drawer is where I keep my base products this drawer is totally broken but what I have in again these drawers are not conducive to how I have this kind of stored but uh, down here is my row of primers, which I'm glad everything fits in one row. This is my row of base product, you know, complexion products. Um, and I'm kind of happy with where that's at now. And then, of course, my row of concealers is a lot better. These are literally my only concealers here. And plus, this is that green one. This is a corrector. These two are for, um, you know, spot concealing. And then my shade adjusters right there. And my face drawer is a lot better i have back here or kind of right here i have my powders i have my bronzers right here 
and my highlights in my blushes and then some of my face palettes um and then my lip drawer right here where i just have this basket of the different colors um organized and then this is just like a melanius catch-all drawer um so that's how i have everything organized on my desk over here in case you're just curious for a second i'll show you part of it i have this little carousel thing that holds um my liners so my eyeliners are in here my different groups of lip liners and mascaras in the middle here some eye crayons my little brow corner here and then this is my little brush carousel so i have face brushes eye brushes more detailed brushes and then my like liquid liners and things that i'm using pretty much all the time reaching for all the time okay i would show this is a mess but anyway this is this is where we're at so thanks for checking out this declutter see you next time